and raise it to 1,000 even more. Thank you. I call Angie Warren Clark. Mr. Speaker, I'm delighted to take a stand tonight um, to support the uh, litter increase infringement fee fees amendment bill. Um, I'd like to firstly congratulate the Honourable Scott Simpson on having his uh, bill drawn. Um, congratulations for that. Um, and I look forward also to working with you on the Environment Select Committee as we uh, draw out this uh, small but important bill. Um, I appreciate I appreciate. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I appreciate the attempt um, around addressing "Keep New Zealand Beautiful." I appreciate <laughs> the uh, the sentiments. However, what I think we do need to address is the wee elephant in the room around the infringement system, and I think it's very important to note that in uh, the last term of that government there were $43 million worth of um, collected rev uh, fines that were unpaid. And so this may not be the only mechanism or may not be a useful or meaningful mechanism. Um, half of that, um, half of that uh, those fines were remitted, so half of them were people were let off. So money is not necessarily a deterrent in this factor. And in fact, $400, as it currently is, may in fact be the amount, Mr Speaker, that um, is a huge amount to some people. Um, $1,000, again, to uh, some people is not very much. Is it, is it something that is actually going to um, be a deterrent? It's part of the kite, and we acknowledge that. It's part of the kite of, of us uh, uh, addressing littering. Um, what we do need to address, really, is waste minimisation strategies across, and we do need to look at landfill, and that's an important aspect. Um, however, I wanted to give some examples for my local community about dumping of, or littering. Um, in the Western Bay of Plenty District Council, they've reported from the 1st of January 2017 to the 18th of February 2018, the Western Bay District Council received 362 service requests to collect dumped rubbish in the Western Bays and recorded 10,200 kilograms worth of waste illegally dumped. Now, Mr Simpson, you and I are neighbours. You're from the Coromandel and I'm from the Bay of Plenty, so I would suggest that it's somewhat similar in our communities. Um, this is a disgrace. That's a lot of waste. And I want to give you an example of, um, as you know, I ran a woman's refuge and part of the thing that we had to do in order to survive because we were unfunded by government your government, is run a second-hand shop. And one of the difficulties of running a second-hand shop is people treated it like a dump site. So over the weekends, they would bring their couches, they would bring their bags of clothes, they would bring all of their bits and pieces. Um, and they would leave them there, and then other people would come in, and they'd sort through that stuff, and they'd wreck it, and then that would be left in this huge mess. So I would suggest that we would very likely have contributed to calling for that. We were also given some uh, free um, dumping as well, um, a tonne a month. So that helped. So finally, in conclusion, I'd just like to say that it isn't just about littering. It is about a whole systematic process around improving our beliefs and values around our beautiful earth. Um, but I do commend the member uh, for bringing this bill, as little as it is, as small as it contributes to the kitty of resources. And our, um, our select committee and our party look forward to debating this issue further. Thank you. I call the Honourable Scott Simpson, five minutes in reply. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker. It's been an interesting debate. And I want to thank members from across the House for their contributions. Uh, well, my